What a rush to get ready. The master is coming. The fire is built up and the kettle is humming. The table is laid. I've prepared it with pride, with his favourite dishes arranged on the side. I got up at dawn for the cooking to start, with that added ingredient, the love of my heart. And as for the menu, I've planned well ahead to the very last detail, the olives and the bread. For two days before, I've done nothing but sweep, scrub and polish. I even see dust in my sleep. I just wish my sister lent more of a hand. Still, she did do the flowers. I can't understand how we've turned out so differently. We were brought up the same, together with Lazarus. That's our brother's name. She's always been dreamy, our Mary, while I have too much to do to let hours slip by. It was I did the nursing when Lazarus was ill. She sat by his bed, so silent, so still. When we knew it was hopeless, I just watched her pray as our brother's soul peacefully left him that day. We'd expected the master, but he'd be too late. So I ran out to wait for him down by the gate. His eyes filled with tears as he looked at my face, then gathered me up in the gentlest embrace. I knew he'd have got there on time if he could. When he's there, things always work out as they should. My brother was gone, but my master was here. And even this valley of shades held no fear. He looked in my eyes and said, Martha, don't grieve. Have you got faith in me? Do you believe? My voice choked with tears. I just nodded my head. He could bring life to anyone, even the dead. I cannot explain what took place on that day. Believe it or don't believe. All I can say is that Lazarus lives, whom no man could save, and that I saw God at the side of that grave.
On a morning chill on a silent hill with dew on the grass still sweet, a man surveys with sorrowful gaze the city at his feet. And his friends still know where he means to go, to the place where danger waits. And he sees surprise in their anxious eyes, but he never hesitates. Though a king may ride full of pomp and pride with, on a carriage with mighty steed, his chosen beast is the very least, a donkey meek indeed. In the city street there's the dust and heat of a noisy market day. Then you hear a shout and the word goes out, the carpenter's on his way. And one idea makes the crowd draw near for a glimpse of his gentle face and palms they wave to the man who gave new hope to a broken race. As the cheering grows through the square he goes, people pressing on every side and their faces merge as their bodies surge and flow like a mighty tide. And the donkey's feet on cobbled streets are steady and firm and secure and he has no fear his creator's near and the hand on his neck is sure and the rapturous crowd raise their voices loud and the young and the old both sing he's come at last our oppression's past hosanna to the people's king but their hero's eyes glance to the skies as around him the people praise, for he knows full well that a living hell must be faced in the next few days. But this journey ends with the loss of friends, with disgrace and despair and woe, but those who today cheer him on his way will soon plot his overthrow. As the steady beat of the donkey's feet sound a firm, unwavering tread, and the donkey's gaze unflinching stays on the road that lies ahead. The rider must in his father trust, as the crowds claim their liberty, for the suffering of the people's king will truly set them free. Mm -hmm.